feel like if the person who wrote this brought this comment to a therapist, you'd have a lot to talk about. So Pedro Pascal is very much having a moment right now. Daddy? Yep. I am your cool slutty daddy. Rightfully so. If you have not watched The Last of Us yet, go watch it. I have never seen someone deserve an Emmy more in my life than he did in this scene. But there is something about this man and the edits of this man that makes people completely disregard their digital footprint. I have read some absolutely depraved comments about him. And today we're gonna look at some of the funniest ones. We of course have all sorts of variations of it's purring and a tear just ran down my leg, my thigh, etc. I like to call these comments the classical period. My favorite of which is currently, it ain't purring. It's yodeling. <laughs> Daddy. Yeah, it gets better. In all caps, it is growling, roaring, scratching for this man. He could rearrange my organs. Put me in a wheel. Like a hamster. <laughs> I need to know him carnally. But below that we have, okay, y'all for real gotta chill with these captions. Because let me tell you, the comments are always out of pocket. The captions are also, like most of them I can't even say out loud on YouTube. And don't even get me started on the sounds. Gonna take your d put it in my There's this video of just like him with his hands like rubbing the armrest of a chair. But the caption says, saw a comment that said, he probably talks you through it, and I haven't been the same since. And I think I did find one of, if not the original, I know he talks you through it comments, and it's on a video of him going. All right, baby, all right, baby. Come on, right. So, you know. Um. But anyways, back to the hands video. This is my all time favorite. I need to be spayed. <laughs> I have legitimately thought about this comment every single day <laughs> since I have read it. <laughs> World's greatest seat, in parentheses, not the chair. The cultural significance of the parentheses on Pedro Pascal comments, one of my favorites is on this video where he's like dancing and singing. Someone said, nurse, he's out again. <laughs> In parentheses, I need him so bad. He's literally an orange kitten laying on a fluffy white bed, just relaxing in the sun. Like, what does that even mean? Pedro is a cat purring in my lap. Mm -mm. That's not. Underneath that one, he is so grandpa. God, I want him so bad. I feel like if the person who wrote this brought this comment to a therapist, they'd be able to get at least a month's worth of sessions out of just that alone. You'd have a lot to talk about. <laughs> oh God, it's it's the, the age difference comments really get me because like this man is 23 years older than me. And I'm like, that's that's a lot. Um, But it, not compared to some of these people in the comment sections. I'm 18, BTW, Pedro. You're only 29 years older than me. Only 29 years. It's only, it's not three decades fully. It's only 29 years. Someone else said, he's 10 years older than my dad. That's twisted. I have had some very questionable taste in men in my life, but I can confidently say I have never had a crush on someone 10 years older than my dad. Also, I know some people have kids young, but if your dad is 10 years younger than Pedro, how old does that make you? And you're out here simping. I'm concerned. I don't click on all these accounts because sometimes it's better not knowing because sometimes you click on the accounts and then it's like a 14 year old and it's like, where are your parents? Where are your parents? Another one that I think about every day. <laughs> Me want peepaw. 
me want Peapaw. It's giving Neanderthal, which I feel like is reflective of the mental state of most people when they are writing these comments. Want people. Want. Want people. The Peapawification of Pedro. <laughs> I have a group chat named Me Want Peapaw now. <laughs> on a video of both Pedro and Oscar, I can take them both, in parentheses, not in a fight. Is this who we are? Is this what we represent? <laughs> the answer to which is a resounding yes, unfortunately it is. Someone posted a video saying like sneezing alone versus in front of Pedro Pascal, and someone said, <laughs> I would moan after every sneeze. Someone said, I just know he crawls for the woman he's with. Um. I want to crawl into him and wear him like a second skin. Do not. I feel like it pairs really well with this comment. Um, if Pedro Pascal knew just how often I was thinking about him, he would probably file a restraining order. Yep. <laughs> this one made me bust out laughing. <laughs> More than once, apparently. I just know he gets zoomies. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something about that being written, not just about like a real life person and not like an Animal Crossing's villager or like, you know, a cat, but a grown man. It just really makes me want a lobotomy more than I do on a regular basis. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. Someone said, eating my drywall. I like this one. It's like the tame counterpart to howling at the moon and eating rocks, which someone also said. I did have a dog that actually did this one time. I was nine years old and I cannot emphasize enough. This was a literal dog. Love this one. I'm a straight dude, but man, I want Pedro Pascal to hold me in his arms. Time for a geography lesson. If you look at a map of the world and then you zoom in on Africa, then you go a little closer and you look at Egypt, you'll see that there is in fact a river there. It's denial. I relate to this one a lot. I love men, in parentheses, only Pedro Pascal. We can unpack that later. I actually go through withdrawal if I don't see a Pedro edit for more than 20 minutes. Um, I LOL'd. Funny, except for the fact that I don't think they're joking. On a video compilation of Pedro dancing, very enjoyable by the way, has me. Um, <laughs> someone said y'all forgetting he was a go-go dancer in Madrid back in the 90s. First of all, I would like to see it. I wish smartphones existed back then. Someone replied, is there anything this man hasn't done? To which, of course, someone said, me. And then the original commenter said, your time will come, young Padawan. This is not the way. This one is just, it's so vivid. Um, and it also has 17,000 likes, which really gets to me. The way my ovaries twitched when he said, Pedro Pascal from Santiago, Chile. Papi. <laughs> Over 17,000 people saw that comment and said, yes, I agree. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I just need a collar that says owned by Pedro Pascal. I'm down bad. I actually have one of those for you. It's right here in this box. Stop it. Get some help. And something about, um, Using something as lip gloss. Use your imagination. Just fill in the blanks yourself, because I can't do it. I would eat it with every food. I want it in a Dior bottle. That's disgusting. <laughs> and with that note, I think that's enough internet for today. <laughs> This was all in the name of good fun, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to tag me in Unhinged Pedro comments you see. I'm at Your Girl Kath on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and these make my day, honestly. Some of them disturb me, but most of them just have me legitimately laughing out loud in bed, and I need a good laugh these days. Again, digital footprint, digital footprint. Please consider it. I'm begging you, but also don't because I'm having a good little laugh at this. 
And in case it wasn't obvious, I am very much riding the Pedro wave right now, so I'm probably gonna watch his entire filmography over the next month or so. So if you'd like to see reactions to any of that, let me know in the comments. It's been a while since I've done a reaction or really any sort of video, but um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a fun, silly, goofy time with me. Love you guys, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!